few years ago when I was looking for gouache paints, I found the prices were rather skewed. Now since I was going to attempt gouache for the first time, I wasn't looking for an expensive set. However, brands like Camel or Doms, which we usually consider affordable, did not have gouache in their product basket. The market was flooded with international brands, which were rather too expensive. I ended up buying a 16 paint box by Nevskaya Palatra for approximately Rs. 1000, but it was still way above what I was willing to shell out. So clearly there was a need in the market for a good set of gouache paints, which not only offered a wide selection of colours, but were also easy on the pocket. A brand that noticed this gap and tapped into the opportunity was Brustro. The Brustro Artist Gouache Set of 24 comes packed in this paper box. The thickness is similar to a thick cardstock paper and it feels a bit flimsy. But I think the overall design of the packaging is quite interesting. These two slits on the front allows one to partially see the enclosed colours. Now I received this box through Amazon and it seems to have been jostled around a bit so most of the tubes have come out of their slots giving the box a swelled appearance. Looking at the back of the box, it mentions that this set is a product of Creative Hands art material. There are also some symbols and acronyms here. ASTM is basically an American standard used globally to enhance safety and improve quality of consumer products. Here, ASTM D4236 means all of the potentially hazardous components of this art product have been clearly labelled on the product packaging. CE conforms to European standard and here EN71 is a set of European product safety standard that applies to all products sold in the European Union. And of course this recycle symbol shows that some part of this product uses recycled material and that's a big positive for me. I really appreciate brands and products that are environment conscious. Unfortunately, I can't see the MRP or manufacturing date mentioned anywhere on the box. But for your reference, this is currently priced at Rs 849 on Amazon. This is what I see when I remove the tray from its outer packaging. Most tubes came out of their slots during transit. I suppose it's a good thing that they have this plastic wrap to contain the tubes within. I can also see some minor damage to the inner tray. Looking closely at individual tubes, I really like the overall styling with a black base and a coloured label. The interesting bit is that the label is not made of paper but actually printed on the tube. I can't tell you how often the paper labels on my tubes have peeled off and disappeared causing me so much anguish. Now I love the fact that there's so much details given about the paint on the label. Here you have the shade name, the shade number, the light fastness, the transparency and even the details of pigments used. For instance, on this specific tube, the colour name is MOVE, the colour number is 109, the 3 plus sign indicate high light fastness, the symbol here shows that the colour is opaque and that it contains two pigments, PV23 and PW6. The tubes also mention some features of the paints. It says that these are highly pigmented, contains bright opaque colours, has a superior matte velvet finish, strong coverage, they're intermixable and they're high on light fastness. It also has all the symbols you saw on the outer packaging, although I haven't noticed any additional caution note on any of the individual tubes, so I'm assuming that none of them contain toxic material. The quantity of each tube is also mentioned on the label, so these have 12 ml per tube. The colours as indicated on the label look wonderful, but most often the shade on the label are not a true indicator of the actual colour that lies within. So let's proceed to do a swatch test on both white and black paper to check out the pigments. The pigments are bright and vibrant. The opaque value is quite high and the black lines of the permanent marker are all but hidden. The colours dry out with a vivid matte finish and they look really good on white as well as black paper. There is a fair bit of chalkiness which is consistent with the nature of gouache paints. The paints are also quick to dry but it is easy to reactivate them by re-wetting them. The overall palette has some really interesting colours like the hot pink, rose, yellow-green and the teal. 
However, there's some colors that I feel are quite similar and almost seem repetitive and unnecessary. For instance, maybe one of the reds here could have been replaced by an orange and they could have considered a lighter blue here. But I understand that every artist would have their personal preference and it's hard to please everyone. But one thing that would have really added to the overall value of this box would have been to do away with one of the colors to add an extra tube of white, which as every gouache artist knows is the most frequently used color in the palette. Now let's proceed to do a small sketch to put these paints into action. The paints are easy and fun to use. The colors do seem quite bright and vivid. The coverage is really good and it's fairly easy to control the consistency by adjusting the amount of water added to the pigments. It is also easy to paint over previously painted areas without lifting the underlying paints. The paints dry very quickly so I haven't been able to mix the color on paper but they're intermixable on palette and it is possible to create a wide variety of hues. Over the past several years, Brustro has gained the reputation of being a reliable brand with good quality products. Now what really works in favour of Brustro gouache paints is its price. At Rs 849, one gets a box of 24 shades of 12ml each and it does seem to be a very competitive pricing. The colour choices in the box is pretty good with some unusual colours like hot pink and teal which could be appealing to many artists. Of course, one of the concerns is that there is only one tube of white paint in the box, but Brustro has addressed this concern by introducing a two-tube box of white gouache paints of 40 ml each at an additional cost of Rs. 299. Overall, it's a great set of paints to have whether you're a beginner or a professional. Let me know how your experience has been using these paints. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.